Don't you just hate wasting time? One, one little piece of gossip leads to another and 30 minutes later you're wasted 30 minutes. Thank you for coming back to today's show. Before we get into it, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to why we're even going to do this episode. So August 2016, I moved down to Richmond with my mom. And in the area, we only knew four people. That was my brother, his wife, and their two kids. I had decided to go to a community college and unlike big universities where there's a chance of people from your school who could go there, there was not a single chance. Nobody from Woodbridge was going to go to J. Sergeant Reynolds. So going into campus, I knew absolutely nobody. Zero, zilch, nada. And if it wasn't for actually going and doing some of the things we're going to talk about today, then it, this probably would have been a hell and I would have never enjoyed being here. With that said, because I made friends at college, I was able to really enjoy this. And that's what today's episode is about. Making friends at college. The why it matters and how even to do it. So we're going to delve right into the why. Why would you want to make friends at college? Simply put, they add another spice to your life that you'll never ever get without them. They're there for you when you're at your lowest, and they help celebrate you when you're at your highest. Ideally. Now there are some people out there who would just take advantage of you and abandon when you're at your lowest and only be there when you're at your highest, but we'll talk about that in a later episode. Today is just strictly good vibes. So why, 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 why must you make friends? Simply put, isolation sucks and it doesn't solve anything. This is something I personally have dealt with. Whether I've gone through falling out with friends and I felt completely alone and I look around and I see people and they're people I've normally been completely friendly with and have a good relationship with them, but because something happened with somebody else, there's still that kind of sense of hurt and mistrust about that other person in my mind and I'm still looking at them wondering, would you hurt me too? And that further drives the isolation. And then eventually it comes up to just one good friend finally kind of busting through the shield and the wall and from there everything starts to turn around. It's kind of like you're sailing at night and it's completely pitch black at night. You can't see where the rocks are, but you just assume there's rocks everywhere. And then eventually a friend comes up who's a lighthouse and shows you the way. And you're able to navigate all of these rough waters. And then that lighthouse turns into another friend who can help show you the way to the shore. And then another friend. And then another friend. And then another friend. Do I need to keep on going? You guys kind of get the picture that friends do matter. The next step is how to make friends at college. It sounds kind of cliche, but your mom was right. Simply go join a program, an organization, a club, or participate in an event. The things that got me out and out and in front of people here at school was simply joining a leadership program, joining a fashion show, and participating in that, playing in a couple intramural leagues. I happen to be champion of two. That kind of opens the door because you're put in a situation where no matter what, you're going to meet new people and you have to interact with them. Regardless of what happens, you have to. You have to. And though you start to build bonds with people and the more you see them around campus and school, you start to say, yeah, I kind of like you. Let's, let's see if we can do anything, which is the first step, meeting people. Then when you find people who are really cool and you think, I like Brian because we always play basketball, we have that love for it, we play video games together. Wonder if we'd be cool, cool friends. That's the meat making of it. Then you sit there and you kind of sit there and say, hmm, 
Does he have the same kind of moral ethics as I do? The same kind of character? Yeah, he does. He's a pretty cool guy. I can trust him. He's been there for me when I'm at my lowest. Then, that's the molding. Granted, it does not always go like that. Because sometimes you'll meet people with similar interests like you, but don't share the same ethics, the same moral codes, the same principles as you do. That's completely fine. The problem is when they don't respect that. And then that's when the friendship will need to be put on the back burners while you have other people out there who are interested in the same things you are and have the same principles and ethics, and even if they don't, who will respect you. It just takes time. You have to go back to draw step one and meet new people. Sometimes I suffer from this myself. Is I meet new people, we start becoming friends and making them, and we start molding, and then we don't, we don't click. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm just stuck there. Instead, it's a whole circle. You have to go back to meeting new people before you can start making new friends, before you can start molding new relationships. Before I let you guys go, I want you guys to like and subscribe to the video below and in the comments put in how you met your best friend, what were you guys doing, and how they brightened your day. Also, there's a new video every Saturday.